and welcome back to Miss Ramoser's temporary classroom away from Viewlands Elementary. Today I would like to start this lesson by giving a special thank you to a friend who I received a letter from. So I'd like to show this letter to my friends and if you are the friend that wrote this letter, thank you. It made my day. It gave me such good thoughts. So my friend was telling me that he drew a picture of a horse and he likes horses because they run fast. I know, horses run so fast. What other animals run fast? Hmm, let's think to ourselves. Another animal that run fast is a tiger. Ooh, so I might say tigers run fast too. Can you think of another animal that runs fast? I want you to say the sentence blank animal, so maybe tigers run fast. Maybe you can say dogs run fast. What other animal runs fast? So thank you to my friend who sent me a letter. I'll be sending you another one soon. Today we're going to read a story about how we play with friends, but first we need to place where we are on the mood meter. So when I look at the mood meter today, Hmm, I feel pretty happy because this letter just made my day. It gave me such good thoughts, it made me miss my friends, but also it made me realize that we can continue to stay in contact and talk to each other even though we don't see each other every day. So today, Miss Ramoser is in the yellow zone. What zone are you in? I want you to say the sentence. Today, I'm in the blank zone. Today I'm in the zone. Why are you in that zone today? Do you know? So, today's story is called, How Do Dinosaurs Play With Their Friends? <gasps> it's a story about dinosaurs. Oh, I know some friends that can name every dinosaur in this book. So, this story is by Jane Yolen and Mark Teague. When I look at the cover, I see a dinosaur having a lot of fun, and I see some friends also having fun with him. I wonder how dinosaurs play with friends. Let's see if it's similar to how we play with friends. What if a dinosaur's friends come to play? Does he mope? Does he pout? If he can't get his way? Uh-oh. What kind of thoughts do you think it might give friends if he doesn't want to share his toys? Do you think they'll want to come over again? Ah. Does he hide all his dump trucks, refusing to share? Does he throw his friend's coloring books in the air? Oh no! How would it make you feel if someone did that to your things? Does he hog all the swings and the sandbox and the slides? Does he not give his friends any tricycle rides? Hmm. No! A dinosaur doesn't. He knows how to play. He treats everyone in the friendliest way. Wow, he's helping his friends up the slide. That looks fun. He shares all his toys and give turns on his bike. Wow, that's really kind of him. Do you have toys that you can share? Maybe you can share with a sister or brother or even a parent. His friends get first choice for the games that they like. Wow, if my friend let me pick first what game I wanted to play, that would give me such good thoughts. I would think, wow, I wanna play with this friend again. He listens then asks, would you like one turn more? What a kind, is that a pterodactyl? This is why I need y'all around. 
You you tell me what dinosaurs are. Mr. Moser doesn't sometimes know all of them, but I know you do. Good friend, good friend, little dinosaur. What? Is he a little dinosaur? Or is he an enormous dinosaur? I think he's pretty big. So, what does the dinosaur do as a friend that gives other people good thoughts? Hmm, what does he do that gives his friends good thoughts? Let's look back through the book and see if we can find evidence to support our ideas. Let's see, he looks a little bit upset in these photos. That's not what a dinosaur would do. Oh, a dinosaur plays in the friendliest way. Oh, so I know a way that a dinosaur plays is in a friendly way. He shares all his toys. Oh, that supports the idea that he's friendly. I see evidence that he is friendly because he shares his toys. Would you like to play with the dinosaur? How will you give him or her good thoughts? Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you for taking this time to grow your brain. You are amazing. Let's say together, I am amazing. Okay, we'll say it together now. I am amazing. I almost heard you say that. All right, thanks friends, see you later.